welcome to ABC Interactive English. That is Karen, and that is Henry.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at Part B of our monthly focus, and it's still called the Perfect Present. And the vocabulary words are sweater, sweater. I borrowed this sweater from Gina. Businessman, businessman. Phil makes a lot of money as a businessman. Select, select. Martin always selects a seat at the back of the room. Watch, watch.、Mm. That watch cost over a thousand dollars. Nice watch, Henry. Is it new? No, no. This, this, this. Yeah, fairly new. But you know, my my late newest watch.、Mm -hmm. But I have a better one at home. Really, like one of those expensive ones? Yo, know, actually, it was a present. Really? Yes, and it was from a businessman. From a businessman. Yeah, my dad. <gasps> oh, okay.、Right. So the the story is,、uh, my dad became a businessman after、yes. he he came out of the military. You okay. Know, you know, to Taiwan. You know, so many years ago, and the first big paycheck that he got as a businessman, he went to Hong Kong、uh -huh. and bought a nice watch. It's a Omega. And then when he bought the watch, he said, "This is my first watch, and it's going to be for my firstborn son." <gasps> really? So you weren't even born yet、yes. when he bought the watch. And he gave the watch to me when I graduated college. And、wow. he told me the story and said, "When I bought this watch, I bought it for you, and I didn't even know you." Wow. Okay, that's a pretty sweet story. Yeah,、uh, one of the very few that I could, <laughs> <laughs> that I could remember from from my father. Great memory. But but I love that watch very much, and every time I wear it, I get really good compliments because people say, "Wow, that watch looks really it's、like、retro. An, it's, like it, it's like an antique." And I was like, "Well, yeah, it is." <laughs> like decades ago. Yes, decades. Okay. Ago. And the question for today is: Where does Joyce want to go next? Where does Joyce want to go next? But yeah, thanks, Dad. I really do like the watch a lot. Thanks.、Aww. After leaving the elevator, Benny and Joyce start looking at the men's clothing. How about this sweater? It's fifty percent off. That's a good deal. It's too colorful. If your friend is a businessman like me, he won't like it. He can't wear it to work. I guess clothing is a personal choice. A chef's knife would be a good gift. I can select one. I can give someone a knife. That's bad luck. Oh, you're right. Let's take the escalator down to the luxury goods. We should skip the watches, though. They're bad luck too. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. It's part B of the monthly focus unit, and our three dialogues for this month are all about shopping. Not just any shopping, but the kind of shopping that can really make people nervous and stress, stress them out. I'm talking about buying the perfect gift. That's the title of our unit, and Joyce is the one looking for the perfect gift for a male friend. But luckily, she's not alone in this quest. Her friend Benny is coming along to give her some advice about what kind of gift a man might like. As we begin reading, the setup sentence tells us: After leaving the elevator, Benny and Joyce start looking at the men's clothing. Joyce begins our dialogue when she asks Benny, "How about the sweater?" And she adds, "It's fifty percent off. That's a good deal." Hmm. It sure sounds like it. Yeah. It also sounds like we have our first new vocabulary word for today, and that word is sweater. 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 This is a noun. A sweater is something that we wear on our upper bodies, this part of our bodies, to keep ourselves warm. Sweaters are thicker than normal shirts, and they are often made out of a warm material like cotton or wool. If it's a cold day, you might want to put on a sweater. For example, Dennis had a sweater with Santa Claus on it that he liked to wear at Christmas. Dennis 之前有一件上面有圣诞老人的毛衣，他很喜欢在圣诞节的时候穿它。Sweater, sweater, 毛衣是一个名词。冬天很冷的时候啊，就必须要穿毛衣喽，不然一般的衣服啊，实在是太薄太冷了。I always wear sweater in winter. 
I always wear sweater in winter. 我在冬天的时候啊，总是会穿毛衣。那一般我们的毛衣啊，可能会有图案啊或图腾，就像 Mike 老师刚刚说的那件圣诞老人的毛衣。如果同学们看到某件有图案的毛衣，你很喜欢，你可以这样子说 ：I like the pattern on your sweater. I like the pattern on your sweater. 我喜欢你毛衣上面的图案哦。而刚刚在对话里啊 ，Joyce 看上了一件打五折的毛衣，就问 Benny 觉得怎么样。So what does Benny think of the sweater that Joyce was looking at? Hmm. Well, it's safe to say that Benny is not exactly a fan of it. He tells her it's too colorful. If your friend is a businessman like me, he won't like it. And he adds he can't wear it to work. Ah, so I'm imagining a really bright sweater, colorful design on the front, and lots of loud colors. Yeah, not exactly the right look for a businessman at the office.、Mm-hmm. And this is also our next new vocabulary word: businessman. Businessman. This is a noun. A businessman is a man whose job it is to do business. He might sell things, be a manager, or even be the boss or the CEO. Businessmen usually work for a company of some size. They have meetings, they work in offices, and they often wear suits to go to work. They don't usually work with their hands building things, and they don't usually get dirty at work. And they also spend most of the time indoors in the office. For example, the businessman sat at his desk typing on his notebook computer. 那位商人坐在他的书桌旁，用笔记型电脑正在打字。Businessman, businessman. 商人就是一个名词。同学们，如果眼睛够力的话，就会发现 businessman 是两个字合在一起的哦，分别是 business 生意，还有 man 男人，所以合在一起啊，就变成了生意人、商人。来看一个例句 ：Nathan became a businessman after he graduated from college. Nathan became a businessman after he graduated from college. 在大学毕业之后 ，Nathan 成为了一名商人。那同学们需要注意的地方是 ，businessman 的复数比较特别，不是直接加 s 哦，而是要跟 man 男人一样，把 a 改成 e， 变成 businessman。b u s i n e s s m e n。来看一个例句 ，businessman usually wears suits and ties。Businessmen usually wear suits and ties. 商人通常都穿西装打领带。那回到我们的对话哦。Benny 回答 Joyce 的问题，说他觉得那件毛衣太鲜艳了。如果 Joyce 的男性朋友跟他一样是商界人士的话，那他可能不会喜欢哦。Back in our dialogue, Joyce is listening to Benny's advice and trying not to take it too personally. She says, "I guess clothing is a personal choice." Absolutely, it is one of the most personal choices we make. Not everyone likes the same kind of clothing, and that's fine, wonderful, and makes the world a more interesting place to be. Hmm. It also makes shopping for clothes for other people really difficult and stressful. Okay, as we reach the midpoint of today's dialogue, we'll take a quick break after we read the next sentence, which tells us what Benny and Joyce are doing now. We read. They move on to the household goods department. Hmm. So they've given up on buying clothes as a gift, huh? Might be a wise decision. We'll see how they get on right after this quick break. Welcome to Watch Joy Speak English. I'm Yuyun. I'm Ji Yang. I'm telling you. Hi. 我昨天在网络上订了一双鞋子，可是我今天看到说更漂亮，我更想买那双，我好想改单，怎么办？你的意思是 ，you ordered a pair of shoes online yesterday？ 嗯嗯嗯嗯。You like them then？ Yes。But since then you have changed your mind？ Yes。嗯，但是呢 ，change one's mind， change your mind， 就是改变某个人的心意啊，你三心两意那里。嗯、不是因为那个 A 看起来很好，但 B 看起来更更更更更好。我跟你讲，但是我不确定那个国外的网站它的订单订单状况是怎么样，嗯、你可以帮我看一下吗？没问题，我们今天就来看一下这个网购订单相关的用语哈、嗯。首先在购买的时候，你一定要先看清楚你喜欢的东西有没有库存了，你不要看了半天，结果没有啊啊，堆星光，堆星光。好，那我们看一下有没有库存。有存货有库存，就是呢，某个东西、嗯、in stock， 
in stock。那没有货了，缺货就是 out of stock。Out of stock、嗯。那这两个片哈 ，in stock 或者是 out of stock，、哦、在实体的店面询问哈，或者是在网络上面询问都一样，哦、都可以、哦。所以你可以说，哎，这双鞋有没有货啊、嗯、？Is this pair of shoes in stock？ Is this pair of shoes in stock？ 嗯，这双鞋有没有货？嗯，但是如果下单之后，你要查询那个上这个出货的状态。OK， 出货状态、哦这个、那就上网看嘛，对不对？真的，有一个地方会有这个什么。Status of the order 啊、oh, ，Status of the order 是什么呢？就是订单的状态哈、嗯。Status 是一件事情的状态，那 order 呢？这边当名词用就是订单啊、oh, 哦。那如果它已经出货了，嗯，哦，我们会用 ship 这个字 ，s h i p 当名词是船、嗯，对不对？对。当动词的话就是把货发出去啊、哦哦。哦。Shipped 已经出货。对，以前的东西就是用船运出去嘛，对,嘛对,嘛对不对？它可以拿，就虽然说我们现在网购、嗯。不是从不是搭船的，哎，有可能搭飞机，对对对，我们还是用 ship 这个字，对对对，好，所以我们就会说，哎，如果你看到已经出货了，那就没有办法更改订单的内容了，也就是说 ，if the order has been shipped， you can't change it。If the order has been shipped， you can't change it。那我知道了。还没出货就可以改嘛？对啊对啊对啊、就是 if the order hasn't been shipped yet, you can change it. Yeah, 冰雪聪明那一种。那还用说？要买东西我追回了啦！来看一下今天的 live action。哦。What? I ordered a pair of shoes online yesterday. I like them down, but seems that I've changed my mind. Do you mean you want to change your order? Yes, but I'm not sure how to do so. Uh, well, check the status、uh-huh. of the order first. And then? Well, if your order hasn't been shipped yet, uh huh, you can still change it. Okay, let me check. Okay. <laughs> Explanation two. Welcome back. Joyce and Benny are gift shopping at a local department store, and they have decided to try to find something for their friend in the household goods section of the store.、Hmm. This is where you would find tools, appliances, and lots of the things we use around the house, especially kitchen equipment. And this is exactly what they are looking at. Benny says a chef's knife would be a good gift, and then he says I can select one. Oh, that's nice of him. Before we learn Joyce's reaction to this offer, let's check out our third new word for today: select. 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 This is a verb. To select is very similar to the verb to choose. When you select something, you have a few different options, definitely more than just one, and then you will choose or select from this group so that you do finally end up with just one thing. For example, when the waitress came to the table, we selected what we wanted to order from the menu. 当服务生来到桌边的时候，我们从菜单上选了我们想点的东西。Select, select, 挑选，这是一个动词。Select 跟 choose 选择其实蛮像的哦，但 select 更有一点挑选、精选的感觉。来看一个例句 ：Zach was selected by the teacher to be the class leader. Zach was selected by the teacher to be the class leader. Zach 被老师选中成为班长，这样比较有一点感觉了哈。那再来看一个例句 ：Mandy always selects the seat at the front of the theater. Mandy always selects the seat at the front of the theater. Mandy 总是挑选剧院最前面的位置。每次在选位置的时候，大家应该都会有精挑细选的感觉吧？那回到对话里。Benny 看到了主厨刀，和 Joyce 说：“嗯，他觉得这个当礼物很不错哦，他可以帮他挑一把。”那 Joyce 觉得怎么样呢 ？So the knife that Benny has selected might be a nice one, but it doesn't seem to be a very good gift. At least not according to Joyce, who will be paying for it. She says, "I can't give someone a knife. That's bad luck." Ah, bad luck. Well, Benny must have forgotten this superstition, because he says, "Oh, you're right." So there goes the knife idea. <sighs> See, this is why it's so hard、yeah. to buy a great gift for a close friend or family member. 
We need some more ideas about where they can look, and this is where our question of the day comes in. The question asks, where does Joyce want to go next? She says, let's take the escalator down to the luxury goods. She says, let's take the escalator down to the luxury goods. Oh, that sounds like a good but expensive idea. And she adds, we should skip the watches though. They're bad luck too. Ah, so many things to be aware of. Absolutely. With all of these traditions and superstitions, buying a gift is like walking through a minefield. One false move and boom, it's game over. Well, this dialogue for today is almost over, but we have one more new word to take a look at. That word is watch. 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 It's a noun. A watch is a small clock that people wear on their wrists. If you don't have a smartphone that shows the time, a watch can be very useful because it is always on your body. Watches are also just nice things to look at, and many people wear them like jewelry as a way to show their personal style. Some expensive watches can cost thousands or even millions of dollars, but mine doesn't. For example, George wears a watch that was once owned by his grandfather. George 戴了一只曾经属于他祖父的手表 Watch, watch. 手表是一个名词。平常我们看到 watch 这个字啊，通常是动词，指看的意思。但 watch 其实也可以当做名词哦，指的就是手表。其实也蛮有道理的啦，因为我们会一直看手表，检查时间。来看一个例句 ：Jane seemed to be in a hurry. She kept looking at her watch. Jane seemed to be in a hurry. She kept looking at her watch. Jane 似乎在赶时间哦，她一直在看她的表。如果习惯戴表或有买过表的人，应该都知道手表的价格可以很亲民，也可以很昂贵。平平是看时间啊，但看买的人愿意花多少钱喽？例如 ，Phil bought a watch that cost him ten thousand dollars. Phil bought a watch that cost him ten thousand dollars. Phil 买了一只要价一万元的手表。哼、嗯，大手笔吼。那在我们的对话里啊，则是说到。Joyce 觉得送礼物不能送刀，也不能送手表，因为都不是这么的吉利，所以他们就继续他们的寻找礼物之旅啦。And that's it for today. Well, indeed it is, Mary. We thank all of you for joining us, and we'll finish things off through this dialogue and the unit tomorrow. So please come back for that. Bye bye. bye. After leaving the elevator, Benny and Joyce start looking at the men's clothing. How about this sweater? It's fifty percent off. That's a good deal. It's too colorful. If your friend is a businessman like me, he won't like it. He can't wear it to work. I guess clothing is a personal choice. A chef's knife would be a good gift. I can select one. I can't give someone a knife. That's bad luck. Oh, you're right. Let's take the escalator down to the luxury goods. We should skip the watches, though. They're bad luck too. Goodbye, 第一则是表示打五折的形容词片语 ，fifty percent off。第二则是表示某事物很划算的表达法 ，something is a good deal。第三则是表示穿衣物去某地的搭配词 ，wear cloth to place。让我们从表示打五折的形容词片语开始吧。fifty percent off 意思是打五折 ，percent 是名词百分比的意思，前方搭配数字。后方搭配形容词 off 折价的 fifty percent off 字面意思就是折价百分之五十，也就是打五折。Ten percent off 字面意思是折价百分之十，表示打九折。Seventy percent off 是折价百分之七十，也就是打三折。以此类推。例如 ，the department store is having an anniversary sale, and all the cosmetics are thirty percent off. 百货公司周年庆，所有化妆品打七折。
接下来看下一则文法 ，something is a good deal， 意思是某事物很划算。deal 在这里是名词，交易的意思。good 是形容词，好的意思。合在一起 ，something is a good deal。字面意思就是某物是好交易，换句话说就是某事物很划算。例如 ，the bargain is a good deal。这个特价品很划算。接着来看下一则文法 ，wear cloth to place， 一直穿衣物去某地。wear 在这里是及物动词穿的意思，三态是 wear、wore、worn。To 是介系词，去的意思，合在一起。Wear clothes to place 就是穿衣物去某地。例如 ，British pupils wear uniforms to school。英国小学生穿制服去上学。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民说英语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hi everyone, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Karen. 那这个月呢，要跟大家讲的就是去看医生的时候，我们会用到的一些英文。那今天的句子呢，就是有时候你在生病的时候，你没有什么食欲，然后你吃不下任何的东西，然后你看到食物就觉得呃，觉得有点恶心，所以我吃不下任何食物。这句英文我们可以怎么说呢？你可以说 I can't keep any food down. I can't keep Any food down? 我吃不下任何食物 Sometimes when you feel sick, you don't have any appetite. That means you don't feel like you're hungry. You don't feel like you want to eat. Then you can say, "I can't keep any food down." Okay? Or maybe you feel like throwing up. Okay? Whatever you eat and you feel like I feel like I want to throw up. Then you can also say, "I can't keep." Any food down, okay? So that's a sentence for today. I can't keep any food down. And it's like before. Hope you feel better, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟单元喽。今天我们要一分钟的时间来复习在 Monthly Focus 学到的四个单词，同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词是毛衣，毛衣要怎么说呢？叫做 sweater， sweater。帮助同学们记忆 ，sweat 是流汗，然后加 e r， 让你流汗的东西就是毛衣 sweater。Those sweaters are on sale， 那些毛衣在大特价哎。好，再看第二单词是商人，商人就是做生意的人嘛，生意是 business， 人是 man， 合起来 businessman， businessman。它的复数是把 m a n 改成 m。Ian, 好 Sam's brother is a successful businessman. Sam 的哥哥是一位成功的商人。再看第三个单词是选择，选择有好多单词哦。那在这本书 S 开头的，它是当动词，叫做 select. Select. Jack had been selected for the school team. Jack 被选进校队了，太棒了。再看第四个单词，很简单，手表怎么说呢？手表叫做 watch. Watch 跟那个看电视的看 watch TV 是同一个字哦。He bought a cheap watch at the night market. 他在夜市买一只便宜的手表，一只一百元，有盗版的哆啦 A 梦。好，不管怎么样，太好了，我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那回去要多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。